Zavala's nightmare conclusion has went down this week. Like Crow accepted his past in Aldrin Sov, Zavala too now sees he did everything he could to try and save his son, to have his wife forgive him for returning to duty under the Traveler. Today we are going to roll Zavala's sever mission and dialogue and explain the importance of this epic quest. Welcome on in Guardians, hope you're having a great day. Last week I made this video which introduced Zavala's nightmare and why it haunts him. I definitely recommend you watch that before this video, but here's a little summary if you don't want to. Zavala once had a wife who was a medic. They adopted a son from a camp that was invaded by Fallen and his name was Hakim. He would call Zavala his father. For a time, the commander thought to give up his light. One day though, his son died and the commander made a choice to return to duty under the Traveler, abandoning his family as things have changed. He wouldn't want this to happen to anybody else. This is basically Zavala's nightmare, wanting forgiveness from his wife for the things he's done and wishing things could have been different. This new life dishonors your old one. It dishonors your son. Hakim. Your true family wouldn't torment you. This is your grief, Zavala. At the end of last week, we see Zavala couldn't pull through and accept this past, but this week, things change. For the next seven to eight minutes, it's going to be dialogue from this week's quest and sever mission that explain this conclusion. Then after that, we're going to analyze it ourselves and explain the importance of it. If you would like to skip this section, you can jump to this point in the video. We begin again with fresh eyes and open hearts. I believe the commander has found the strength he needs. So too must we marshal ourselves for the task ahead. For there is more at stake here. As time progresses, Callus's hold on the Lunar Pyramid grows in strength. For each connection we have severed, the remaining grows stronger. The nightmares only increase in number, and soon I fear they will overflow from the Leviathan and spread across the system. Zavala is ready to face his past again. Collect the necessary reagents for the next ritual and join him on the Leviathan. We cannot afford to fail again. How did Eris get through this? How did she face her own nightmares on the moon? I know what it's like to hold the line against an unstoppable foe. To fight a battle with no clear path to victory. But this... This is different. And I don't know what to do. Eris, what happens to her if we succeed? That is unclear. I'm sorry. My love is still afraid to let me go. The Traveler called you all from your grave to be broken over and over again. An endless sacrifice. Is Callus doing this to the ship? Through the pyramid, yes. It is breaking the Leviathan's bones to reset them elsewhere. So he is not so different from your god. From the god of our son's murderers. The Traveler is not my god! It is said broken bones heal stronger than before, but this is a lie. They are forever weakened. Zavala sees Hakim's face in these phantoms. And in you, God. I want to see him. I, I close my eyes, but there are only flashes. I try to remember him exactly as he was. I try... I see his face, too. Anemic and choked. Fear and pain I cannot stop. Then nothing. And I am alone. We can remember why we lived our life without hating why we lost it. I hate my son's murderers. The god they followed. That it has taken you too. That's not fair. Live with your decisions. That and duty are all you have to hold close. I'll set this amplifier, Guardian, and meet you ahead. This mission won't bring you the peace you desire. 
Your devotion to the Traveler rewards you only with war and death. Never peace. I'm not doing this for the Traveler. I'm doing it for you. Your hands are pressed against a wound to staunch bleeding. It spills through your fingers. You are soaked in it. I knew when to let go. When to wash the blood from my hands. Do you? How many pawns has the Traveler sacrificed to conscript Commander Zabala into its service? When it leaves you too, will you become like the Fallen? Guardians stand for more than the Traveler. We make our own feet. What would I do with this broken man you've become? You teach me to heal again. We'd watch our scars fade together. Safi? I... There's so much. The years have made apologies lose their meaning. Sorry. You can only apologize for something that is your fault. Hakim wouldn't want to see you mourn. He'd want his father to be proud of his courage, as I am proud of yours. Hakim should know his father feels nothing but pride. That's why I trusted him to protect you. You've given me a lot to consider. About where I put my faith. Analyzing the whims of a silent god? You'll mold those thoughts over into dust. There's not always an answer. Let go and rest. Yesterday I was too tired to rest. Today, Safi, Hakim, I'll find you in my dreams. I'm glad it was you standing with me. Zavala should be commended. It is not easy to forgive one's own regrets. Another thread frays between Pyramid and Leviathan Guardian. And yet, I feel the next will test us most of all. When I first saw Sophia return as a nightmare, I was afraid. I didn't want her to reveal what I'd done. I did everything I could to save Hakim. I can accept that now. But back then... Guilt. Like gravity warps our perception of what is real. His death carved out a place in me. And everyone I lose under my command only compounds that feeling. Sophia knew that. She understood that losing him only pushed me further toward being a guardian. She knew that I couldn't stand by and watch the world burn. Because in her own way, neither could she. After everything we faced aboard the Leviathan, I'm left to wonder, have I made the right choices? I don't regret all the good the city has done, or that I was a part of it. But what it took to get here, what it's taken to keep it... Our minds weren't meant for this many years. Like so many other things, we have a word for eternity. Without the capacity to comprehend what it actually means, when is enough? Enough. Maybe it's time to let go. So Zavala had all of these memories of his family stuck in his heart for all of these years. And he makes a pretty good point that the mind wasn't built to live this long. 
As battles and battles occurred, all of this pain would layer on top of itself and Zavala's heart would be heavy. Hakim died and each soldier that died after that reminded him of that sorrow. In the end, Sophia tells Zavala that he can only apologize for something that was his fault, that he should feel proud, Hakim would be proud of his father and seeing the courage that he had. Zavala returned to command because he didn't want to lose others like the way his son died, and Sophia knew that. It concludes with Zavala talking about when enough is enough, and that he feels super old, not sure if he can continue going on like this much longer. In the terminal dialogue from Keitel, she explains that Zavala is worth it. No matter what he's going through, he can push through this and keep going. Conquering one's demons is a noble task. There are many stories of cabal heroes who did the same. Now, they live forever as legends. I don't want to be a legend, Keitel. Too late. Even we have stories about the great Commander Zavala. Only we do not call him that. But do you need something, Empress? This is not a formal communication. This is... a private reckoning. One warrior to another. I see. I fought countless battles where my life was on the line. Won and lost them. Nothing like this. Never is hard. Ah. <sighs> As I told your crow once, battles fought in the theater of the mind and heart are just as brutal as ones fought with flesh and bone. We all bear our scars, victories, defeats, some openly with pride, some others hidden away beneath layers of shameful armor. This battle was the most honest of your risen life. You won. I don't feel like I've won any battles. I just feel... tired... and old. And yet, you still stand. But Guardians, that's what we have for Zavala's conclusion for this week, week 4 of Season of the Haunted. Once again, in my opinion, great work by the team at Bungie, especially when you talk about you know, how Zavala feels this weight compounded in him over every soldier that dies. It makes you think back to days like Forsaken when Kay died, and how he probably thought of Hakim during those days as well. Anyway, Guardians, if you'd like to see some more Destiny lore and mysteries just like this video, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.